Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, cast. Welcome to setup number two in this F124 track guide and setup series. Here we are at Jeddah, a uh, very high speed track, a lot of uh, dangerous corners close to the walls. As usual, I will go through the slow lap first, followed by the setup and then the fast lap, hot lap at the end once again. And a quick shout out to our channel members over in YouTube and in Patreon as well. If you'd love to join and support the channel, uh, you know, feel free to do so. Otherwise, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, you know, leave a good comment. Uh, help this algorithm push this video out. Now, let's get into the track guide for Jetta. And uh, for the last corner, you want to set it up nicely. Make sure you break deep and wide. It's only for your qualifying lap, right? Uh, if you're racing, just race like normal. This will give you a little bit more speed into turn one. Turn on DRS, stay wide to the right hand side. And as you approach turn one, right as you approach this little yellow box on the right hand side, prepare to break right after this around the uh, 100 meter mark, sometimes between the 150, depending on your confidence and downforce levels here. Here I'm using a little higher downforce, I'll show you in a while. So make sure you break hard and then uh, lift off and then into the corner, make sure you're fully lifted. Take as much curb as possible on the first left hand side curb here. Uh, this will open up your right hander here. And right around where this white line ends, the safety car line, that's where you want to accelerate. On the exit, avoid that sausage curb on the left hand side. Don't accelerate too much on it, but you can take the flat exit curb here. And now heading into turn 4, well, uh, right after 100 meter, around 75 meter, that's where you want to brake just lightly. And then boom just send it on the left hand corner here uh, this whole track is about sending it and you can see yeah it's so so close so send it on the left hand side but you know again for the race you don't have to send too hard otherwise you will lose your race same thing for the right hand side it's a little bit of rng here but you can take this curb most of the time with two wheels on and then follow the tightest line possible to gain lap time flat out flat out and then here comes the tough part um you know i turned in a little too early so i lose a little bit of momentum here but you know if you get it right you don't have to lift uh, i lifted a little bit just so the nose points into the right hand side this will allow you to open up the next left hander as you can see and uh, you can take this curb but be really careful with it uh, it really tends to speed you out so might as well avoid the curb it's safer to avoid so especially if you're following someone or you know there's a car behind you you don't want to get into a multi-car collision on the exit here this right hand curb again super dangerous but you can take it uh, just take it with half your car if you take too much you will lose time down this mini straight now down into the banked hap in the end of sector one and start of sector two right around the blackboard or 50 meter board that's where you want to break and then uh, you know trail break into the corner the banking will help you turn into the corner but remember to pick up the throttle early and uh, let the car run wide on the exit you may notice the car understeering a little bit you can drop your differential follow the tightest line and now right around the 75 meter mark this is where you want to break and then um, you know again send it on the right hand to open up the left hand side so let's take a look how this is done really really tight corners around here so um well yeah very tight margins yes you can see now uh, once you send it on the right just pray and accelerate all the way out of the corner remember to pick up the throttle early as well so you can gain the momentum on the exit we lose a little bit here on the curb so we lose a little bit of momentum uh, probably easily a tenth down this straight so make sure you keep it straight, keep it flat, and then you'll easily gain lap time here. Now stay tight, open up DRS, uh, take the shortest line, and then for the next left hand of the hotel section, right around the blackboard once again, a repeating theme around this track, a break right around the 75 meter mark, and then downshift to six in qualifying. You can go down to fifth in the race and really send it on the left hand side here. Once again, uh, you know, you really have to be committed to gain lap time. And then on the exit, you're already flat out and you're already, well, on to the next straight, the second DRS zone of this, uh, of this track, three back-to-back -back DRS zones. Stay on the tightest line and then bring your car over to the right-hand side. Get ready to brake 
right around the 100 meter board or that l small little TV on the top left. Uh, that's my braking reference around here. And then you want to tuck your car into the apex as you approach the corner here. Uh, you know, try to get, uh, try to prioritize a good exit here because you gain the momentum on the exit as well. Uh, here, hit the wall a little bit, so a little bit more time to be found there. But nevertheless, I think uh, for the first time, cracking on on this track, I think uh, that's a good lap time there. Just a second and a half away from the world record, which I'm pretty impressed by myself, but uh, pretty sure there's a lot more to find as we go on. Now, let's get into the juicy part of today, as usual, the setups. So, uh, quite high downfalls around here. Um, no, I mean, not so high, but it's still pretty high, 26, 25, uh, 26 or 25, 16, up to you. You can lower it a little bit if you want. 90, 20, 100 on the transmission, uh, 90 just to give it a little bit of uh, rotation in corners, 20 off throttle to keep the car stable in high speed. 100% energy braking as usual. Suspension geometry, all minimum. No questions about that. And then we move on to suspension where we have made some slight changes than usual. 41 suspension on the front, that's normal so that you get the best response and best handling out of it. On the rear suspension, I've opted to go a little stiffer this time because it actually gains you time here. The track is pretty flat and you don't have a lot of bumps which will unsettle the car. So go for a stiffer rear suspension that also uh, makes the car a lot more reactive in the high speed corners. 21, 15 anti roll bar seems just nice for me. And 20, 50 right height is I think the minimum I could go for. Moving on to the brakes, 100% pressure and 55, 54 brake bias, whichever you prefer. Uh, you can use a little bit higher in the race if you need to. And maximum tire pressures for the race. You can reduce it a little bit for qualifying if you need tires to warm up a little bit quicker and gains you a little bit more speed. And there you go. Let's, uh, that's the end of it. And I'll let you enjoy the full speed lap time. Let me know where you can, where I can improve as well. You know, I'm pretty sure you can spot a few mistakes, but I'll see you in the third setup, which is gonna be, well, is it Australia? Might be Australia. So see you there. Take care everyone, stay safe and goodbye.